Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. Today we are going to learn the best way or the best ways to analyze record scale. And here we are talking about different types of record scales. So it doesn't matter. So here we have in this the spaces five, we have a nine item record scale. And we want to analyze it first way using descriptive statistics. So in this regard, I'm going to generate the frequencies according to each item and the percentages. So as you can see here, this record scale is coded from one strongly disagree and five uh, or two five strongly agree. So this is the coding. I'm going to click OK and then go to analyze and go to descriptive statistics and then frequencies. So then I need to move the items so by control A and select these variables and move them in this variable uh, box. Then I'm going to go to statistics and I should keep it empty. Nothing is checked. All right, so I click continue. If I want charts, I can add charts like bar charts, pay charts, histograms, etc. Otherwise, I'm just going to click continue. That's it. So I'm going to click display and check display frequency tables, of course, and click OK and wait for the analysis. So you can see here the frequency and percentage of each statement. So then I can report this. Uh, this is the first way. The second way, I'm going to go to analyze again descriptive statistics, and instead of frequencies, I'm going to choose descriptive. All right, and I'm going to move the, the items again to the, the variables view, and then for options, I'm going to take the mean standard deviation and tick maximum and uh, minimum and then I can even tick the sum and I can have display order either variable list alphabetically ascending means or descending means so I can opt for any uh, choice here so here I just want the variable list so I'm going to keep this as it is click continue and then so I can keep the style like that and click OK So this is the second way. The third way, uh, it's somehow easy. I'm going just to select the items in the label view and the variable view, and then uh, left click and click descriptive statistics and it will generate that automatically. All right, so this is the third way. Okay, so then I can interpret the data uh, using Microsoft Office Word or on Microsoft Office Word as I said so this is the the, the three ways to uh, analyze and describe record scale uh, again if we are doing hypothesis testing that is in the framework of uh, empiricist or uh, let's say hypothesis testing and null hypothesis etc in this case uh, we need to uh, run some inferential statistical tests like independent sample t test if the data is normally distributed or a man with new u test if the data is not normally distributed and if the variable or consists of a dichotomous uh, let's say uh, option which consists of for example male and female let's say students here or for example gender this is a variable that has like two values which is, means it has two groups and it can be subject to independent sample t test or the man with new test so in this case before running this independent sample t test or the man with new test we need to calculate the sum of Likert scale. So I'm going to show you how to calculate the sum of Likert scale or the mean score and standard deviation of 
electric scale. So again, we are going to go to transform, compute variable, click compute variable. I'm going to move the variables this way. So I'm just going to delete this to show you how I did that at the, I mean, in the very beginning. So I'm going to go to function group and go to statistical and choose sum and then click on or click this arrow to move uh, this function above then I'm going to keep moving an item by an item till I finish all the items and remember to put a comma between or to set off uh, each two items again comma another item again comma another item till I finish all the items in the Likert scale Then nine and click, for example, sum or the name of or the target variable name. So I'm going to click OK, change existing variables. So because I have the same na name, I can put sum two. So I'm going to click OK and so the variable. Uh, was created so it tells you that these items are added together and they are uh, calculated or computed so let's go back again to SPSS so again one, once I uh, compute the sum of Likert scale and I want to run for example independent sample status I should go to analyze and again I should go to compare means and then I'm going to go to independent samples t-test going to click that and I'm going to move gender to this grouping variables and so I'm going just to reset to show you how I did that so I'm going to move gender to grouping variables and in defined groups group 1 for instance female 1 group 2 code 2 click continue and then move the sum to the test variable or variables and click OK. So here is the result of the independent sample t-test. So as you can see here, there is no statistically significant difference between uh, the female and male, for example, students with regard to the scale. So again, I'm going to go to Likert scale and if I want to analyze more than two groups here in this case I need to use a one-way analysis of variance that is ANOVA and again I'm going to go to analyze compare means and choose one-way ANOVA and this way I'm going just to do the same way by going to gender to the factor group and the sum of the Likert scale to the dependent list and click OK to run the analysis all right, so this is like the descriptive statistics of ANOVA. That's it. I'm going to do other tests like simple linear regression, uh, logistic or multinomial logistic regression, chi-square test, etc. using SPSS. And I'm going to do that in another tutorial. If you like the video, do not uh, forget to subscribe and like the content. This will encourage me to make other videos and I wish you good luck with your scientific journey. In addition to this, I would like to tell you do not forget to contact me if you need any assistance or help with data and see you in another tutorial.